Hello everyone, I'll welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we saw how, how, to, uh, how to navigate, how to locate web element and play around them. We saw by name, by class name and link text locators. Today we are going to see how can we navigate, uh, how can we locate an element using an XPath and how can we play around them. So we will be using the same example which we uh, used in the last program. But uh, this time we will be using XPath for all the elements. So what is an XPath? An, X, an XPath in Selenium is basically a navigation path used throughout the HTML structure. So how an element is located based on the HTML structure of the path, uh, we identify using XPath. Okay. So let me give you an example. So XPath is basically so XPath, how can we identify XPath? Basically, in XPath is any tag name this is for relative xpath i'll explain it and whatever its attribute value would be so remember it uh, we'll be using this at a later stage whatever attribute it has and what value do it contains sorry typing mistake so this is how we going to find xpath so xpaths could be of two type one is absolute and one is relative xpath so absolute XPath is basically the entire structure of an element. So let us look into our example which we used. So this is an example. If I go and inspect this, to give a quick example, let us, what we'll do is we'll inspect this web element. And if we right click here, you need to see copy and you will be seeing copy XPath and full XPath. So if let us say, if we copy full XPath and let me paste it just here. So you can see how it is identifying this element. It is going through HTML where its body is in the div and the second div we have a div and inside that div we'll have the div. Inside it will have form, div1, div and input. So this is the, how it identifies element. But let's see what, what if some design changes happens and if this input moves uh, below some other element, then this path would become uh, irrelevant and uh, Selenium would not be able to find this uh, X path. So for this, we use uh, the uh, relative X path, which which we which we can uh, find it. So let us see the same example. This is this is our web page, and let us uh, inspect this. So how how do we identify in identify an X path? Basically. Uh, you have multiple methods, but what most commonly used is if you put a dollar symbol here and put X and inside that, whatever you want to find it, right? So we saw how to can how do we identify any tag name that has an attribute and has an value. So if we look, if we look for this element, username, we can see that it has name, username, which we use to identify this. And this is it. This is of input type. Okay, so how we can identify is we can just we can just write over here is use double quotes. Now you going to see undefined because it is not finding element. As soon as it identifies any element, it could have it could be multiple element. So let's say we are looking for an input type. So see you can see there are two elements of input type: username and password. Okay, and if you remember, we are looking for a name well, name attribute that has a value of username. Okay, so do remember uh, this syntax. Okay, so we'll be what we'll be doing is we have already written tag name. We are we are looking for an input tag name. Okay, and what we are looking at, we are looking at the you at the name property. Okay, so I'll be writing name here and what name we are looking for a and the name we are looking for is username okay input tag name equal to username and we'll finish this oh, not here okay so see we have we have uh, found one unique alpha element of this type okay similarly if we replace this with the second property second element second element wait a minute wait a web page go here it is sorry 
and if we if we find out what is the password so we can see also the password has a name uh, uh, attribute and it has a value of password so if we let's say if we copy this so you can if you can enter and see all the value whatever value this element would have it, you can identify it here so what if we look for a password input type so you see we can identify another thing now we're going to click going to identify this login so how we can how can we identify this login element again we'll, we'll go on the element we'll know we'll navigate we'll find this that this is a button type that has a that has a class attribute and the class attribute has a value of radius okay so using the same thing we'll copy this we'll paste this but instead of input type now we have a button and instead of name we are looking for the class attribute and what is the class attribute a class attribute name is radius so we, we can identify this particular element okay then we will have to identify the after we are uh, logging in we have to log out as well so let's see what is the how can we identify that as well okay so what we are going to do here is we're going to element and we'll locate this logout so this logout is inside an anchor text in answer text uh, anchor text it is there's an i element using the logout see so let us again uh, i think i have already copied it no so again no issues we just click on the we just try typing dollar x path variable okay so we are getting some values let's leave that and then we will have our double quotes here close okay so how going to navigate this element so this element uh so uh, if you're not sure that what could go you could already you can specify that it could uh, it could be of any uh, any uh, type be it i be it anchor be it button so for for that you will be writing uh, asterisk star so it would uh, it would go and look for all the things okay and what we're going to do is let's look it back so it has a it has a text of logout so this is this is i think this is a perfect example where we can use contains okay so right now we are we we, we are uh, seeing these kind these el these element uh, this kind of uh, way to find an x path so another item is uh, another kind of uh, approach is using the contains what if this uh, element contains this value it could be again an attribute name class name whatever but it has all uh, it also has an uh, attribute of contains text what if this contains this so let us look into that so let's say we are looking for an for an i uh, anchor tag and that has a value let's say we are looking for an i you can see we we have multiple items here but we want to have that particular element that contains some text so we'll be writing contains as a function and what 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 it contains it contains a text okay and now we're going to write and uh, we'll put comma and what is the text we are looking for so we are looking for the text logout i think it is logout yes it is logout so we are looking for a text that contains logout see if we can find it so we are not able to find this so let's see where we are going wrong so where we are going wrong is we are actually incorrectly closing this so it it should be inside this so now 
if we are clicking it we are we are identifying this element okay so now using this you can or, and, and also if, if you copy this let me copy this and if you're not sure that you what what element you are looking for you can al always put star over there you can uh, can put finding all the uh, input all that all the elements that contains this uh, this x bar or contains this text logout okay so with using this we'll be we'll uh, let's jump on to our visual studio and see how how can we uh, write test method around it okay let us name it to using x path so what we'll be doing is we'll be copying it entirely and modifying it as per our need so instead of by dot name so let me write it completely so what we'll be doing is driver dot find element by and now we will be using x path and again this would be same dot send keys and whatever we had our send keys whatever we were typing will be just copy paste it so how are we going to find the x path we know we found it the x path here so let me copy it so we are we are using the we are finding using our input tag that has a that has a username class so i am I'm copy pasting it and we should remove this and here it is for reason and what we are typing it as okay so now again I'll be I'll be removing this only by dot x path and whatever the x path we have we have almost same x path instead of username we have password remember we, we found all this element okay and instead of class name uh, we were using we will use we were using our button so i'm copying this from our text file or, or the console and i'm pasting it by dot x path here it is our x path and after clicking it we'll be we are log we are logging it out so let me again open my console so this is the element which i am copying So again, instead of link text, I am finding using XPath bracket my text my XPath and closing. Oh sorry, closing it. Fine. Okay, so let's see how it works. What we are basically doing is we are finding out uh, this element using our XPath username password. Then we are clicking on the login button. Then we are waiting it and then we are logging out. So let us put our debugger over here, save this and run this test pass. We'll debug first just in case if something breaks. So it will open the login page, maximize it. Okay, so now it should write tom smith as a username so it is writing it then we'll move on to our password section so password is after that we are basically waiting for a second and then click click on the login button so we have already logged in so we are now we'll wait for one second and then we'll click on log out so basically all our all of our elements are working fine there's no issue so this is how you're going to uh, use xpath so there are a lot of xpath techniques you can basically find it anywhere let's just run it test one more time and see in real time how it looks the thing is you should try to uh, 
uh, find x paths that are unique so you must see that uh, the x path you are locating is unique to a particular element so that it works every time or else is a, uh, what you can do is you can go to a Chrome web store and type xpath or xpath finder or any kind of these so these are the multiple extensions which you can you can find it you can click on any one and install in your browser so you have to just click on using their extension you can just click on their uh, element and xpath and they will automatically give you multiple xpaths okay so this is which this is something if you feel lazy or if you are multiple uh, xpath to find in a day you can use it so this is uh, xpath uh, finder looks like you can install it click on anything so hover over anything you're going to see what is xpath it there Hover or anything you can find it and you can uh, use this this is this one is called selector sir and you can also see there are there are uh, extensions which you can use it so Either way, you can find it using XPath, or basically you can always find an XPath uh, in the in the console itself. So let's say you are looking at, you just click on copy, and then you can have copy XPath or copy full XPath. This is your relative XPath, and if you copy full XPath, that is your absolute XPath. You can use either one. Okay. So this is how uh, we can find XPath, we can play around XPath. So if you're liking this video, please do share, like, and subscribe this video. It helps our channel grow a little bit. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.